Right, right. <laughs> okay. uh, black bear. <laughs> Not black bear, but black bear or something like that. I don't know. Anyway. Guys. I'm not a man that dresses in disguise. I'm a man that sometimes likes to reach for disguise, but realize that a Christ. Oh God. Oh my God. I'm feeling my fault. Checking for a temperature. What's the weather like? How do you feel? I feel queer. Come here. Give me the gear. Hello. Hi. Reach for the star. You're wanky, aren't you? Says Infi. Yes, maybe I am a little bit. Paranoid aggression stage next. Stage two. Oh, you haven't seen nothing yet. You chicken livered shit. Don't start with me, young man. Don't start. Don't bloody start with me. Fucking the brown stuff, but the hard stuff. Nah, you know, I'll be listening to you. You know, you know the way you're going. No, you are right. I, I am wanted in for me. And I'm sorry if I'm pissing you. I'm going to go to bed anyway in a minute too. Not a mind. I'm going to give it a fair block. I'll go to bed. I've got 20 minutes now. But I'll be, I'll be listening to you guys. I'm like you, Skinners, and whoever else on Friday and Saturday and I will literally just be lying in my bed because I've got nothing to do with nothing you know I'm a loser you know? but I'll be listening to you loving you know what I mean so I'm not going to get involved in anything but I'm going to be listening and I'm going to be loving you you know but I'm going to be welcome for your stuff like that you know well, I'd rather have these snacks and stuff like that, you know, porn and stuff very available on the other TV on the left side of me, you know. Coronation Street, straight ahead. Porn straight to the left. And uh, the new Ghostbusters movie, straight to the right. Came Frog on the phone. Hello, everybody. <laughs> hey, hey, um, Ruby, Ruby, did you want to play some Fortnite tonight? Oh, I got wax, beer. I love uh, playing video games when I'm fucked up, especially with pretty girls. I'm just saying, I'd love to win us another BR, BR, you know. I mean, with your help, of course. 
make a good medic, you know. And I was telling Hackney's, you know, Sean, seriously, Pars I mean, uh, Parsa, you should, you should play Fortnite with us too. Could get a squad, you know, two girls, two guys. Me and uh, Hack, me and uh, Sean, I, me and Sean and uh, Susie, and uh, Parsa would make a good Fortnite squad. But uh, I was telling Hackney's, man, that guy plays horrible. He'll like AFK for like most of the round. Can't kill. He plays on a tablet, you know. But uh, I was telling, he he he, he took it kind of to heart, you know. I told Hackney, Sue's even plays smarter than you. Cause he wanted to play with me, you know. I don't know about. I don't know about that. When I say I go to bloody sleep, I'm fucking lying. Do you know how many drinks I've got left in the bloody fridge? Do you know the uh, the amount of stress I'm going to cause to people's lives tonight? Absolutely nothing at all. I don't want to mess with anyone's bloody lives. But uh, listen, one night. Of the woman hanging around. I asked him about her and, you know, you're in trouble. The word just comes before the word friends. That's how most of my marriage has ended too. Party said. One night. I was taking a walk along the river When I saw him together with, with a young girl And the look that he gave her made a shiver Hard to say, Cause he a kiss, baby doll. used to look at me that way Or don't And she thought maybe she Or don't at all, let's just play right this um, game This sort of uh -huh. It's a uh -huh. game we like to play. Okay, let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play, let's play, let's play, let's play today. Let's play. 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 let us Socks up, put your boots on, let's get on with this shit, buddy. You're a pussy. Hey, look at Graham over here, man. He's a damn question mark on the run, man. He's wearing a damn ninja suit probably right now off camera just in case someone comes to the door. You don't know. You know, he thinks he's got a damn law. It's been hired to kill him. Fucking that crazy girl. Got people that fucking ride motorcycles looking for him and shit. <laughs> you know. Dude, I do not live there anymore. Four Littleton Road, Blanca, Colorado. Eight one one two three. Any one of you go fucking Google it right now. There's PI for you, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. It's for sale for a hundred some fucking dollars. Beach Steeler, you've never seen that kind of money. <laughs> you never seen it either. That ain't your fucking money. That ain't your rig. That ain't your fucking water fucking hookup. Pussy, you bum. You know what I mean? You're living in the middle of fucking Colorado on fucking 
A quarter acre of land for 300 bucks or some fucking shit. Rosie paid for all that fucking shit. And that's going to, after you guys get divorced, she's going to get all her shit, too. You're going to be back to living in a fucking barn. Shut up, stupid. Holy shit. I hear a lot of lips moving. I don't hear a goddamn thing, though. I'm just saying, this one crazy mofo. Yay, man. I'm going to see you this weekend. I ain't forget, all right? Just make sure my fucking drinks is cold, you heard? That's all. You just make sure my fucking drinks is cold. Yeah, you hit your vape. Yeah, yeah, hit your vape. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, you know, uh, thanks for the block, boy. Good block. No, but I'm just saying, you know, this, this hillbilly guy, he's such a hillbilly. He can't even remember to reset his router. He's lagging like fuck. So he finally figured out he fucked off just then. You know, he's lucky it was slapped him. Pisses me off listening to a lagging hillbilly fuck like Woody. You got some shit fucking router. I mean, who has to fucking reset their routers? You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Once every once every couple three months, maybe I got to reset my router. This isn't fucking tech talk, dude. Shut the fuck up. Bitch made fucking beat stealer. You ain't stealing my beats, beat stealer. All my beats free. You know, no copyright shit. Fucking, I'm getting, I'm blowing up. You know, Woody ain't viral like me. We'll steal your beats, man. Leave them laying around. <laughs> Snatch some motherfucking beat. I had a buddy, this Mexican dude. His name was, uh, he called himself Sniper. I did a bunch of recording for him, and he became a pretty good rapper and shit. Sniper. Anyways, uh, he, he got that name from Beat Stealer. He wanted to be like a stealer. He be, was a swiper. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, Beat Stealer, I have to say today was a good day. I did not even have to use my AK. Look it up, swiper. I, think it, I don't think it has a Y in it, I think it's just Swiper. I lost touch of that kid, actually. Pretty got some tracks somewhere. Yes, yes, bike stealer. <coughs> I wish I would have just been like fucking just a guitar player, just a bass player, just a singer. Or you know what I mean? I had to do fucking everything. I like making the beats, fucking. Carving them, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Who are you talking to? Your fucking self. Come on, Bang your head against the stage. Yeah, we got a uh, cool mouth. That's her new name. Bonkick's name is Cool Mouth. She's performing live in the lounge tonight. Should be interesting when she starts drinking. Mel, your girl Mel. Yeah, she changed her name to Cool Mel. You didn't know that? Yeah, he didn't. I, I locked out of the room for some reason. It went all funny. She's doing a show. What do you mean she's doing a show? We're not be talking shit about her. Fucking see what the fuck I want to talk about her. Uh, she fucking puts on the fishnet stockings and she points her cam at her crotch. That's what she's doing now. I'm not even fucking making it up. I'm not lying, I'm not talking shit. That's just what she's doing. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's to his own. Watch her recorder and send it to the fucking CPS man. Let her know that she's a whore online, bro. Like, get your kids and do nothing we'll do with that bitch at all. Shut up, midget. Oh, you got Shut up, you stuff nose fucking fat midget. I'm gonna piss off. You're not doing shit with it. He'd rather sit on here and talk shit and fake fight than go get his kids to do anything. You know what I mean? He gonna see some. He gonna see that bitch suck some dick. He gonna see a nigga like Verde or somebody 
getting head like fuck them kids one night. That's really gonna send them over the edge. Yeah, I mean, cause I'll be straight up like fuck them kids. That's on some verde shit. Fuck them kids. <laughs> I'm just. Yo, B man, don't let these motherfuckers talk shit to you like that, man. You know what I mean? If you want, if you want to, if you want to talk smack about that bitch, man, you better talk smack about that bitch, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Don't uh, don't let that shit happen, brother. This nigga T Ferris always coming with that fucking old, you know, uncle approach and shit. You know what I mean? T Ferris always like the retired fucking gangster shit. Nigga T Ferris, man, fuck that shit, man. Fuck T Ferris, man. You my nigga, but damn, homie. Fuck B still in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck that. I'm a nice dude, man. You got a nice fucking daughter. You know? I ain't gonna start fucking talking a bunch of shit on her. It seems like the, the more I talk about her, the crazier she fucking gets. So why am I going to try? You know what I mean? Like, she just do shit just to fucking, you know. So I ain't fucking doing all that. I just hope she just gets her shit together like that. I ain't even trying to talk on her. But, I mean, the whole fishnets, crotch cam thing, it's just, it's too much. Oh. Yeah, B, man. It's all good, Verde, man. I'm just saying, man. Beat's my nigga, man. He's been my nigga on this motherfucking program for 14 years. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to have that nigga back, man. And no info, man. If I ever see you see that, say that shit again, man, talking about... Man, don't talk about nobody's kids like that, man. That shit ain't cool, man. Talking about Beat's daughter gave you clap, man. I'll slap you in your mouth, man. It's a, it's a little five, six-year-old little girl, man. Dare you even speak some fucking foul shit like that, man. Apologize to the man, dude. Um... Oh my god, you and your fucking fake morals. Uh, cringe. I'm just... Just a fucking... These people are animals, t Ferris, and what it is, they're motherfucking animals. Well, just the way of the world. These days. Um, there's still some nice people out there. I'm... Yeah, man, that's... Info's just a piece of shit, man. I'm an asshole, but I ain't a piece of shit. You know, cheers. I don't know what's in your cup. You don't know what's in my cup. But you know what I mean? Cheers. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry what's in my cup. Yeah. <laughs> it's my cup. <laughs> you know, uh, shouts out to the dark-skinned people in the room. I'm just saying it's nice to see some beautiful chocolate-skinned people in the room tonight. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, T-Bofo, V, Verde. Real pass crack. <laughs> now, T, I'm not having him, and I'm not having you sat there pretending that you've got morals and that you're some big tough man. And just all the crap that comes out of you, it's all fake, mate. You're, you're a fake geezer. I'm gonna say, no, uh, Genevieve, might have a hate on your girl here a little bit, T Mofo. I mean, she slaps me, but, uh, Genevieve, uh, looking good tonight. I'm saying the hoodie looks doing it for me. I love the, those great hoodies. I got one too, but, um, you know, you start to make me wonder about you, Genevieve. You got that beautiful mole, you know, like I was telling you, I, I used to have one. But do you have any moles in the, in the other places we should know about? Jesus Christ, is this fucking thing working now, God damn it! As she walks away, you asking them silly questions. I like how Hidden Wall always builds up to what he really want to say. Like, he gets the mic and, like, takes, like, 15 <laughs> seconds to build up to what he really want to say. Cheers, everybody. I'm kind of lit. I ain't even going to lie. What's up, Stella? Better have my drinks ready Saturday, you heard? Them shits better be ice cold. <laughs> it, it, um. I'm not working, but uh, I'll make sure uh, whoever is working has a drink for you. Uh, I want, yeah, I took the weekend off, man. I'm just saying, you know, sh shouts out to Genevieve. What a beautiful girl, too. I mean, you're beautiful, too, still, but Genevieve, she doesn't really get enough attention. She's she got such nice hair, you know. She looks so soft. I bet it smells like cocoa butter or something, you know. <laughs> Damn, son. That's what's up, man. 
Hey Verde, man, I'll meet you out there, man. We'll have a, we'll have a couple uh couple drinks and shit, man. You know what I mean? You know, we we we'll, we'll talk about uh you know what I mean? Fuck them kids and shit, man. <laughs> now nah, I'm just playing, man. I'm staying in uh I'm in Indianapolis, man. That's too far, man. Be going to the bar and shit. Yo, man. <laughs> Indianapolis was cool, bro. Crazy story. I was like on a layover in Indianapolis for like 18 hours <laughs> during the NCAA shit because I was smoking weed. Yo, Info, suck my dick, you faggot. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, you limeys kill me, man. <laughs> Like legit, man. This is what you rather hear. You rather hear me say you a fucking piece of shit, dope head who don't have a family and a mother. This is what you rather hear. You fucking piece of shit. Okay, okay. Yo, Joe. School Mal in there doing the um, the crotch shot demonstration still. <laughs> I'm sorry to beat you up the witness and shit, bro. You know. Them trying to put you against your baby mama, that's fucked up, bro. This, I told you, this, uh, this program's toxic, bro. That's why, bro, you can, you can never bring a chick on this program, man. You see? It's fucked up, bro. Nah, you can, man. You know, uh, I'm not gonna really talk shit about the chick, man, but beats my nigga. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? Uh, he should have known better, though. That's all I got to say, man. He should have known better. But he got a beautiful child out of it. So that's what's up, man. You know what I mean? My nigga beat, man. Look, man, if a bitch is going to be a hoe for you within a week, she's going to be a hoe for everybody. All right? I don't believe that kids even beat. I'll be honest with you. She's mine, dude. Oh, my God. She is so mine. Anyways, I gotta say though, she she wasn't never tricking on me or nothing like that. I mean, Mad Weed Smoker has this little special story after we got in a big fight and she talked some shit or whatever. You know, but other than that, she wasn't like tricking on me. She was being a good girl, you know what I mean? We had a life. Yeah, what happens is you guys meet these girls who be kind of hoish or whatever, promiscuous, and you like these tendencies and you try to change them. You got to enjoy people how you enjoy them. And let them enjoy. Yo, be still a legit. You probably a great guy, but you sound like you're broken right now, bro. You so worried about her showing her shit on fuck wherever she should. Man, go look at some Asian pussy. It's all kind of pussy on here. Forget that bitch, man. That's the problem, bro. You know? Fuck, man. That beat Taylor, man. You got to put the Great Wall of China up, dude. You know what I'm saying? Someone disrespects you, man, too many times. You get the Great Wall of China, dog. You know what I'm saying? They ain't getting over that shit. Man, I'm so glad this goddamn program wasn't around when I was growing up, my dad. How much time with your goddamn child and your life as you do on here, you'd actually get something done. But you sit on here and constantly bitch day in and day out about this fucking whore. Alright, tag release, bro. Tag and release, nigger. I don't, though. Ask Timo, do I fucking sit here and talk about her all the time, T? Fuck no, I don't. I never did talk about our business in here. You know what I mean? Yo. Now, what I see, man, is everybody always talk shit to beat about her, you know. And of course, he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to say something. I mean, if you guys talk to him about her, you know, he might, you know, say some shit, man. No, nah, man, my nigga B don't ever fucking bring her up, man. You guys always bring her up, man. You know, huh? But uh, you know, it is what it is. Woody, you got two choices, bitch. Woody, I'm calling you out. You got two choices, either block me, ignore me, or play me in Street Fighter right now. I got dabs, beer, I'm lit up. But right, light your ass up, Woody. Yeah, fuck. 
yeah. You can't make a whole housewife. I even put it on my thing, man. <laughs> you can't. It just can't be done. And guess what? Then they get old, and then they're old hoes. It's even worse. What it be is, man, they be out here, they be out here sucking and fucking, man, and then they, you know what I mean? And, and then when they want to settle down, you know what I mean? They pussy be looking like a fucking roast beef sandwich, and they like, oh, you know, I always liked you. you know, they never gave you a chance in high school. Now they got like four kids by five different baby daddies, and they fucking like 80 pounds overweight, and then they want to give you a chance and shit. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Hey, uh, T. Ferris, what's that fucking... Mouth all the way down on his shank there. Yo. Yeah, yeah, I'm just... Hey, all I'm worried about doing is going to work every day and being my daughter as much as I can, you know what I mean? It's like you, T. Same shit. You know what I mean? I got I didn't even get to pick her up until, like, almost seven. I still brought her home just so we could hang out for an hour or so before she had to go to bed, you know? Yeah, but at least you ain't got to fight to see your daughter, man. I got a motherfucking fight and fucking all kinds of shit, bro, to even see mine and shit, man. Eh, starting to piss me off, man. I can't wait till I go back to court, man. Fact, man. I got so much evidence on this bitch, man. I can't wait. Hey, Richard, check out this baby I got over here. Where are you? Come here. Look at this little bitch. This is one of my girls. Look at her. Oh, yeah. yeah. Stop worried about goddamn babies fucking being cold over there. You're breaking up. Shut up. <laughs> Old man. Get that thing in a bigger pot, man. Give us some room. Yeah, I just got through uh, getting some stuff, dude. I've been transplanting the last couple of days. This one's fixing to go in there, yeah? Yeah. Next time. Get on it, then. <laughs> Shit weed. You know what I mean? Putting his last four dollars into some nutrients or some fucking shit. <laughs> Fuck, goddamn flower boy. Hey, Carl, you want a garden tour? What of yours? You want to? You're gonna torture me? Is that what you're saying, brother? Hey, I'm gonna send her some of these seeds, but uh, they got it. live there anymore I moved I had to because I was being pursued vigorously by a fucking crazy one anyway yes I understand sir damn I want to smoke some weed but then I'll be up too late that fucking what happens I get the munchies and then I eat and then I'm up for another two hours man I gotta be up early in the morning Fuck, I got a lot of shit done around here yesterday, though. Usually I like smoking weed and it puts me, like, to sleep, man. It gets me tired, man, because otherwise I'll be up all night. And if I like to smoke a little bit of weed, i fuck go to sleep. Yeah, I had 75 plants at my last grow, and I'm going to have 300 at this one. <laughs> do it it's a story like i smoke weed i'm like a minute like two hours later i got munchies like a motherfucker and i'm stuck being awake for the next fucking couple three hours no matter what i gotta smoke like by seven eight at the latest or i just i can't do it yeah this is the blue dream She's like seven foot in the 300 gallon pot. Big ass fucking pot. Then I got my scrogs over here. It's cherry pie. This bad boy here is cherry pie. These are stuck in 
vegetative state. As you see, I got my solar lights on them, so these bitches will stay in vegetative state until I'm ready for them to go. Yeah. Here's another cross I made. And uh, let's go take a look down here. Nigga, you're in a fucking vegetative state. <laughs> what was that cross called, Mr. Richard? See so many things that nobody'd really have. Your fucking door's open in your truck, huh, Rich? Yeah, my dog likes to chill in the truck. He don't like to come out, so I just leave the door open. Comes out when he wants to come out. This one here is starting to put on some weight. Big old donkey dick. You see my scrog this year, I went cucumber weed plant, cucumber weed plant. Yeah, because I like weed and I like cucumbers. So that's a good thing. Look at that big old cola. Big old fucking cola. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, this here is 13 Maui girls grams, so you can see what you're going to be getting soon. Big old. No shit, that's one of the girls? shit going right now you done seen it. oh hell yeah that's what i'm talking about nigga hell yeah can't wait bro this here's the og kush and more cucumbers another 13 maui girls another 13 maui girls here's an ice grapefruit this ice grapefruit's a good strain too i like this strain also, fucking big old nugs, sticky, icky. And I like the uh, couple of the other ones that got up here, too. I'm just saying, you know, what happened to uh, Red? Looks like she got splattered, you know, some plaster. I just bought another light too, dude. I'm fixing to throw it on there because I got. He's. I'm doing all this shit inside right now. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I don't have any choice. I mean, I don't. I ain't fucking know who I am. I goddamn it. And goddamn Texas. God, don't mess with Texas. You're looking sexy as fuck tonight. Is that your real hair? I thought that was a wig. That is beautiful. That halter top too? It looks like you just got a prison and and uh your bad girl. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, Rich man, is that is that whenever that when the tops grow up through that little grate, you bend it over? Uh okay. And then you get like more tops and shit. That's what's up. Alright. Jesus Christ, T sit down over there. Grab your goddamn lawn got some yard yards for you to mow. Fucking asking us about how to grow weed, you dumb fuck. Anyway. Graham, man. Let me tell you something about yourself, little homie, man. Don't let your mouth get you in trouble, man. Because right? T. Ferris will slap you in the motherfucking mouth, man. Okay? All right? When I come meet up with you and I get a, them 10 pounds of weed... I'm going to slap you and just take it, nigga. No, I'm just playing. Yeah. Uh, we... You ain't ever going to have 10 pounds of weed. Rosie will come over there and fucking unearth some motherfuckers. <laughs> Fucking rub them on her pussy and shit. Fuck them and shit. Anyways, uh. Yeah, then they gave never. And he wouldn't even show up though, T. When I went down to Texas, I told him I'm in town. And that motherfucker said, uh, I'm in my mother's or some bullshit. Truth was, he was in fucking player haters' ball, scared to fucking death. Damn. Graham, is this true, man? No, bro. You know what B did, dude? I told him, I said, B Steeler, you better come to Texas, man. Texas is where men are men and sheep are fucking scared. 
motherfucker came down there and he got into the heat, bro, and he had a fucking heat stroke and had a heart attack. That's a true story, man. And he thought he was going to come down there and be Mr. Tough Guy in Texas. Going to go to the, doing the hell damage. He ended up painting numbers on a curb. Now, I want you to tell the truth. I never painted no numbers on no curb. Anyways, you didn't show up, pussy. You know what I mean? You can blow up, pussy. <laughs> I was all the way in motherfucking Texas. All the way down in Texas, and he wouldn't fucking show up. He pussed out. You know what I mean? I put his fucking money where his fucking mouth was. What the fuck happened? Yeah, okay. Listen, I live in Texas. This duck's over in Austin, Texas, working or some shit. You fucking idiot you ain't driving all the way. Like, I'm going to drive three or four hours. Right? He wanted me to camp out with him and shit and go camping. And I think he wanted to get in a pup tent with him and stuff. I'm like, we're not doing that shit. I'm not into that. Stop. Go ahead. Take the fucking, the gay way out. Fact was, you wouldn't man up, pussle. Um, pussy face. Butthole burn. You butt plug fucking bandit. You know what I mean? You would, you ever come to Texas, I'll kick your ass. Be Guess what? I'm coming to Texas. And you didn't show up. End of. You know what I mean? End of, Graham. You've been fucking hiding about it for 10 years. Hey, Steeler, I'll show up anywhere you want. You and... I'm telling you right now, I'm just like Richard, dude. I ain't fucking scared of you or none of these other fucktards on here. I'll fucking come straight to your goddamn doorstep, pussy. Are you kidding me? Give me your goddamn address and I'll show you. You know, I don't fucking got... I, nobody runs my life, bro. I'll go wherever the fuck I want, when I want, how I want. And I'll just... That sounds real good, but the fact is you didn't show up because you were a pussy. End up. So back then he told you he was out he was at his mom's house. Then you later found out he was in player haters, and now he's saying, Man, I'm grown, motherfucker. I do what the fuck I want, when I want, how I want. Oh no, Grand Man, it does seem like you're a little bit scared right there, man. You know, you speaking kind of scared. <laughs> That's facts, ain't it? That's straight up facts. I'll do what I want. You ain't gonna come kick my fucking ass if I don't want you to kick my ass. I don't know why everybody hates. Seems like a lot of hate going on. A lot, a lot of tastiness. You know, you got that tastiness in the room. You gotta get that flavor in your life. Say what's up, my boy. Say hello. That's all you need to do. The butt plug bandit. Is that is that what? Uh... <laughs> What's her name? Rosie? Is that what Rosie calls you? The butthole band, butt plug bandit? You know, Graham made his own butt plugs. Yeah, he'd make his own butt plugs. Tell us about it, Graham, and sell them, right? You? Can we just talk about this? 10-15. Boy, lay down. Jokes. Jokes on me. I put him in his bed, screaming, crying. Yoo-hoo. He said, I don't want to go to bed. Mom wants to stay up with you and can't frog it up. Beach Dealer, did you just say that? <laughs> did I make my own butt plug? What the fuck, dude? This guy, see the delusional fantasies this guy is having? Like, he wants to get in a tent with me. Now he wants to talk about butt plugs and shit. Weird shit, man. No wonder your kids got issues. Yo, there ain't no sugar in my tank. I mean, you used to tell people how you fucking made butt plugs. You designed them and everything. And you wanted to go into a butt plug, pu plug business making specialized butt plugs because you're a real butt plug connoisseur and you know a lot about them. 
You know what I mean? And nobody really took the conversation any further until this very day. So how'd that go? How'd the butt plug fucking uh, sales go? What's up? Why everybody so upset nowadays? Let me tell you something. One thing and one thing and the one thing and the one thing. All you gotta do is love it and be happy about it, my boy. I know you look good when you look at smiling. You look ugly when you have unhappy. Well, Beat, I'm a butt plug tycoon. You missed the boat. <laughs> Ferris, no shit. Rosie was in the other room. And this is payback, Graham, for your little fucking bullshit that you'd be talking. So you're gonna have to just sit here and take a beating right now. But I was in fucking Gunster's room. His old lady's fucking spreading her pussy and showing us that she ain't got no critters or no fucking nothing in it. Oh my god. And she was telling me when she first moved down there, he didn't have a pot to piss in. They shit in bags and he'd burn them in the burn pile. True. Damn, man, that's fucked up. But I did go in there once, man. I went in uh, uh, Gunster's room, man, and Rosie was in there fucking just talking shit about him, though. I didn't know. I've never seen her spread her pussy or nothing, man, but she was in there talking bad about that dude. Yeah, it's crazy, man. But you know how it is, man. There's her story, his story, and then the truth, man. That's uh, just how it is, man. Truth is, Gunster talked to a five year old boy about his dick. That's pedophile, dude. That's the truth. Yep. Yep. Anybody that hangs out with that motherfucker. I'm with Richard, man. Listen, I heard that from his goddamn girlfriend's mouth. She said Gunster fucking called there and talked to a little kid on the phone about his goddamn penis. That's some sick fucking shit, dude. Real talk. I, I mean, you... And then when we, I, don't, I don't think that's a, sci a scientist source of thing. That's something that is, is an impossible thing to understand. You're born. You're either a star when you're, when, or, or you're not. I mean, where do these Leonardo DiCaprio people sort of come from, you know? <coughs> <coughs> you can't say, oh, well, the, they've had the, the right sort of start, or they've had a good upbringing, or <coughs> they've come from money. That's bullshit. <coughs> people have really fought the way through the top, and then they've created a family for themselves. <coughs> But they've come from the <coughs> bottom, fought the way to the top without no help. So how do you explain the fact that the people coming behind the people that have fought from the bottom, got to the top? Do you know what I mean? Now listen to this blood. Authorities or whatever she said. <coughs> I was just like, damn. Yeah, Gunster's a weirdo, man. How, how could you say that shit to a child, man? But anyway, man, is anybody reading the room, man? Fucking Joseph, man, talking about some chick supposed to send him a piss in a jar, man. <laughs> Dude, that's hella weird, bro. <laughs> yeah, they'll fucking do that. There's some weird fucking bitches out there. You send them money, they'll send you fucking shit in a jar. Is that right, Graham? Dude, I, I do not care how bad a female is, man. I'm not paying for her pee, and I'm not paying for no poop. It's poop. <coughs> it's processed food, man. Why would you, just because it came out of a nice looking girl's ass, it's still poop. <laughs> oh yeah, I did, man. <coughs> girl sold me like five pounds of poop. <laughs> Dad, that little boy is not going to bed. <laughs> Well, since I own a uh, fart in a jar, you can sell somebody a fart in a jar, you can sell them anything. Think about that.
That would be good if it kept its freshness. You know, you'd have to figure out some way to keep its pungentness. Because it's got to die off with shipping, you know what I mean? Sitting stale in a fucking jar. By the time you get it, pretty much petered out, man. Turned to some carbon. If you properly jar it, it will stay fresh till you open the motherfucker. Man, that would be so nasty, man. They do got a website where someone has sent you like dog poop or something. It might be it might be human poop, I don't know. But you but you can get you can send poop to somebody, man. As like a gag. It's like a gag shit, you know? That shit's crazy, man. Ugh. What's crazy about it, dude? Yeah, that's why I got fart in a jar and more, because it's so dirty. panties and then we'll sell them uh, 50 bucks a pair dirty underwear get the cheap ones buy them for 25 cents at Walmart when they got if your girl wear them we'll sell them yeah what's wrong with that B I mean uh yeah B get your girl to do it too. your old lady will do it you can sell some of her underwear you might as well make some money off that bitch you are sick Graham shut Think I hugged you? Whatever. Craw, man, you've been on here a long time, like what? 15 years or longer? I came on in 08. Listen, man, I ain't nothing sick about that shit. These motherfuckers are doing that shit. Care? Why am I sick? recipient of the shit. I'm the supplier of it. The, the fucker. You legged all the way out, nerd. Why don't you fucking check your connection? Anyways, I don't think anybody's going to have a whole lot of faith in a motherfucker talking about he's selling farts in a jar. You know what I mean? Like, this guy is not selling no farts in a jar. Ain't nobody sending him no money. You know what I mean? He ain't fucking selling stinky panties. He ain't doing any of that fucking dumb shit. Yo, man. What are you going to do, man? Like, like, so you dating someone? What do you do for a living? Oh, I, uh... I put my farts in a jar, seal it, and send it to people. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't know. That just sounds weird, man. I don't think you're gonna fucking date someone that's gonna come up and go. Uh Happen, dude. They're not probably gonna be bragging about it. Come on, this is silly. Like, if you. <laughs> Think about that. If you stick cherry popsicles up your ass and that's how you make your money, you ain't gonna run and tell everybody, are you? Why, is that one of your favorite things to do or what, mate? I got a girl to freeze a, freeze a hot dog and fuck herself in the ass with it once. That's pretty funny. I ain't telling. <laughs> That's what Tony does in his free time. I don't want to know really dangerous crap. Cayete puta. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go to the doctor about my fucking shoulder there. Damn, I felt pretty hard, man. It fucking jerked my shoulder all the way up. And I don't know how, but somehow I fucking was like, I got punched straight in my fucking cheekbone, too. I don't know if I hit the ice or... Damn, it was like a catastrophe and shit. It said sloop right down a fucking icy driveway. By the way, Sarah, I checked my eye in. Falling on ice sucks because it's hard. 
You know what I mean? What do you want to do right now? Tickle, tickle. It's day, day time. No tickle, tickle. You, y'all hear these goddamn kids? Tickle, tickle. Ten thirty. Tickle, tickle time. Like yeah, hey, dude. Ask Stella to tickle, tickle. <laughs> Tickles. If you tickle him enough, he'll get tired. So his binky, he's playing with his binky and it, he's playing with it on like his belly and he's moving it up and down going tickle 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 tickle. I love the babies. That's the best part. Give him back when he grows up. Say hi, Stella. Look, say hi, Stella. Say hi, JV. Look, JV. Say hi, JV. Hey, JV. <laughs> Welcome to the room, Miss Deeb. What is that, Deeb? Oh yeah, what's up, girl? You know what? People will say I'm crazy. You know, I had a kid when I was what 48. If I met a nice, if I met a nice gal who was big and older, dude, you know, that dude like me, and wanted to have a kid, I would do it again. Cause I love little kids. You know what I mean? I love little little fucking turkeys and stuff. You know what I mean? I want a uh, one next year. Next year I'll have another one when I have my house and shit. Somehow it magically works out to every five years that I have one because I had my son when I was 20 and my daughter when I was 25. I guess I skipped 30, so let's try 35 and see if that's a lucky number. Yeah, I was 21. I had my son in June, and I turned 22 in July. And I think it was like the a perfect time for me. I didn't mean to click off the mic. Um, it um, it definitely helped me get my life together. That's for sure. You know, when I had my daughter, it was the most awesome fucking thing in the world. There ain't no better experience. Than when I picked her up for the first time, she's all swaddled up and everything. Actually, really, the coolest part was that she was healthy. Oh my God, she's healthy, she's beautiful, she's got all her fingers and toes, you know what I mean? Completely healthy. It was just like, oh, what a real blessing, you know what I mean? It's cool as hell. So, when I was giving birth to my son, right? You know how, like, when you give vaginal birth like sometimes women like shit or whatever so i didn't poop myself but when my son came out and was laying on my chest he shit all over me so that was fun and um the first words that came out of my mouth when i saw him was wow he looks just like his brother because he has an, an uh, older brother yeah, wasn't that black sticky shit just wonderful? Oh god, you have to chime in about that, don't you? You fucking hag. Anyways, when Mel had winter, uh, she had to go C-section. And it was pretty fucking scary. It was kind of a touch and go situation, you know, anytime they have to do that, you know. That was scary as fuck, and I was just sitting there, man. Like, no, everything's gonna be fine, it's gonna be great. No problem, but I was so fucking scared. 
my ex-husband was so excited whenever I was pregnant with my son, like videotaping everything, you know, wanting to be all up in the shit and stuff. All right, cool. So whenever it was time to push, I was pushing and I fucking shit first before the before my son came out. And he was like, oh my God, is that what I think it is? And I'm like, yeah, nigga, that's why you, you shouldn't be all up in my shit like that. What the fuck? Dude, my, I literally told my baby daddy, I said, do not look. I said, I literally told him, I said, don't look because if you look, we will not have sex for months because he gets like mortified. Like it, it, he's like, he's like, damn, like he said he looked though a couple times, which I was, I was surprised. He was taking pictures and stuff too. My mom, oh my God, my mom was in my whole coochie whole thing like wanted to take the baby out herself i'm like mom back the fuck up fuck that i only let my hubby be in the room my mom and his mom wanted to be in there and i'm like okay well i'm not gonna hurt anybody's feelings since you're only allowed two people so it's just gonna be him and i had an emergency c-section and i told him just don't look over the sheet because i don't need you passing out because my friend's husband did that he looked over the sheet while they were doing the C-section and the doctor was like elbow deep, right? Getting the baby out of there. And he fainted and the nurses had to take care of him. They wouldn't let me look behind the sheet. I was down there by her feet or whatever. And I, he said, seriously, I don't want you looking over here. Just please stay over there. And so I did. <laughs> I really didn't want to, I, I didn't need to see that. You know what I'm saying? Um, my man held one leg, my mom held the other. Um, I had my son during like the, the, um, like mids of like the whole pandemic. Um, so we all had to get COVID tested and once our COVID test came back negative, I was able to call my mom and tell her that she was able to come. My mom got there so quick. Mind you, like my mom lives like about 40 minutes from where I gave birth and she was there in 20. My dad lives about seven hours from where I live and from the time they called him to say I was going into labor till he got to where I live was about four hours. God damn, he was speeding. First grandbaby, everybody was excited. I know I had the first great grandbaby. So everybody was very excited. Um, but I was in labor for a while, but my labor was not bad. Um, but once I was able to push, I pushed them out in 12 minutes. You saw my facial expression, right? I said, bitch, what? 12 minutes? Minutes. Okay, cool. Because with my son, I was in labor for 12 hours and my daughter was 14 hours. I have never given childbirth, God. I spent all day laboring at home and then went into the hospital and they broke my water and I never dilated above four centimeters. So that's why I had to have... Oh, and then her heart rate started to drop and stuff. So emergency C-section at three o'clock in the morning. So, I had uh, gestational diabetes when I was pregnant. Uh, so, they were just worried about his heart rate uh, going, they didn't want it to go down like a certain amount and it didn't, thank God. The only thing that was really upsetting to me was every three hours they had to come in and check his blood sugar. Um, but when I had, when I got diagnosed with it, um, I went on a very strict diet. My best friend, though, his baby was a premature. It was like fucking three months early, man. It was real small. They got it out of the incubator. They put like a little Winnie the Pooh thing in there. And this little baby was smaller than a real mini size Winnie the Pooh bear, man. It was fucked up looking. Cause that was gonna be, I was like, man, that's gonna be a human? Man, that's a little ass motherfucker. So my daughter was wrapped in the cord. They tried to get me to move around to get her to roll to get herself unwrapped but it didn't work so that was an emergency c-section yeah my mom had an emergency c-section with me too i was 
I ended up flipping myself around uh, last minute and I was trying to come out feet first and they were like, oh hell no. Um, and the umbilical cord was wrapped around my neck so when I came out, I was blue and I also had a heart murmur, I had a hole in my heart. Yeah, I came out blue too. I had such a big head, they had trouble getting me out. I was only 7 pounds, 8 ounces. It was kind of a regular sized baby. Not big at all, really. My mom's 5'1". I ended up being 6'6". Six, six. Make, make sense of that. Yeah, my son was 6 pounds, 7 ounces. Um, I forget how many inches he was. I want to say 21 inches. <clears throat> Something like that. Now I have my little crackhead baby. He's such a... He is crazy. My oldest was 5 pounds 15 ounces. And... Uh, or sorry, 5... Yeah, 5 pounds... 5 pounds, 12 ounces, or whatever it is, just before 6 pounds. And uh, she was 18 inches. Oh, little tiny, tiny baby. I love it. Um, my, um, my man's uh, other baby mother, um, her son uh, ripped the umbilical cord. So her, his sack flooded, and he wears, so he wears hearing aids now. Um, and he's like a little delayed, but he's a smart boy. Um, he, 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 he understands everything. He just turned nine. His picture is actually in the hospital under the Miracle Wall of Babies. So every time we go there for his hearing aid appointments, he always goes, Daddy, look, 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 that's me. Look, Daddy, Daddy, look. He's so cute. You getting ready to spark over there, Hurt? That shit even get you high, man? You never seem too high, though, Hurt. You know what I mean? He's always chill. What do you mean he never seems high? Yeah, be chill. Don't tell me what to do with my life. Damn it. Fucking fall on the ice again tomorrow. Keep it up, son of a bitch. <laughs> No, but I mean, like some people, like me, when I get high, I, you can, everybody can tell I'm high. My eyes get squinty, you know what I mean? I ain't fucking quite right. But you're just like always a solid, you don't really change that much, man. I ain't cutting on here or nothing. Are you a smoker like that, B? Like, do you smoke, like, multiple plants throughout the day? Because if you're not, then that's probably why, you know what I mean? Like, your, your tolerance isn't as high because you don't smoke as often as, you know, Kirk does. Cause I see her blunt after blunt after blunt. And he's just taking that shit to the head. It don't, it don't do nothing. Yeah, you can't look at me and know that I'm high. My eyes don't get all bloodshot and squinty and shit. It's a tolerance level. And I think eventually your body just doesn't show those signs anymore, even when you're super high. Why get tired, I can tell. That's why I log off and put a movie on and pass the fuck out. You know? As you get older, you know when it's that time. I always look high. I, I used to like smoke. I'd wake up in the morning, roll up a joint, have the old lady roll a joint or whatever, you know. Didn't usually smoke at work, but as soon as I got home from work, I would fucking get high and be getting high all night. Then one day I'm like, man, that fucking cost me a lot of money. <laughs> you know, because I'm cheap. You know, I saved my money. But then, so I started smoking bowls. Because you, you light up a joint or a block, half the shit just burns off, don't it? No, you get the best taste of it, man. Burn slow, cigar paper burns slow. You smoke for like 15 minutes, dude. You're like smoking. Fucking cool. It's like an event. Yeah. A properly rolled joint won't burn away, it burns slow. I can roll a joint and sit here and smoke it for 10 minutes or more. Oh, for Christ's sakes, you all know everything and I don't know fucking jack shit. Fuck you. Anyways, I'm just saying. You smoke a joint, I mean if you're smoking it by yourself anyway. While you're holding it in, it's just burning, burning away. With a pipe, you take a hit and you cover it up. 
it stops the smoke. So it lasts a lot longer. And I just, after that, I've learned to just take a couple of hits and I'm fucking good. My tolerance went down and I liked it. I think it honestly matters what type of cigar wrap that you buy because some of them will just keep burning and some of them are, you know, slow burning ones to where you're not wasting your whole blunt while you're speaking and stuff with it in your hand. So you smoke in that bowl of each down, the bowl goes out, you gotta relight it with butane. You're continuously inhaling butane, with the lighter in the bowl, more than you would with just a cigar. That's why you're supposed to use a hemp wick if you're smoking a bowl. That's just junky larging. Mm. Oh, you gotta have that. You gotta put on your fucking hemp slippers and all that fuck that shit, man. Oh my god. Hey, listen. You light it up and you just fucking touch it off. That's all you do. You don't sit there and deep, deep hit the fucking butane part. Hurt. Come on now. I tell you what, if you guys like smoking pipes or whatever, though, check this one out. Uh, check this out. This is the fucking, this is, this is a slick ass pipe right here. I know it looks a little, um, under all camera. Hold on one second. But anyways, this, uh, this pipe here, it's my long fellow. It's so cool, man. It fucking, it's never harsh to the chamber that, you know, and smooths it out. So fucking, this is the fucking killer pipe I ever had. I like that pipe. I call it a Gandalf pipe. Don't judge me, I'm a nerd. I love Lord of the Rings. But if you know who I'm talking about, the dude with the long white beard, and he always has that pipe, that shit is cool as fuck. I like it. It's kind of tippy though. But, I mean, it sits up straight just fine. See the bottom of that. But uh, I'm always afraid it's going to tip and break, but I've never broken it. I've had this pipe for fucking, I don't know, 10, 12 years. But I got like, I bought this knife set and it had a couple different knives, but it was in, like, in this foam rubber shit. So I just put my fucking pipes in that. Yeah, I like that one. If I was to get a pipe, it would definitely be one that looks like that. I just, I don't know. I feel like with the blend, it's just I can, you know, roll and go. If I'm in the car, I can like that bitch. I don't have to worry about driving with my my knees trying to light it and shit. Like, it's just easier. It's like a fucking vacuum out or a cigarette or something. The hemp rope you talk about, I'm making the bird. Hemp rope. And I'll use this for a wick. No, that's what I called it, hemp wick. And yeah, it's really good to pass around, especially if you got a bunch of people smoking bowls in a bowl, it's great to pass around. I'm too cheap, I would never spend the money on such things. But, you know, I'd be glad to try it at your house. <laughs> If I had a pipe, I wouldn't let nobody else put their mouth on it. I have OCD like real bad. Like, I honestly really don't even like sharing a blunt. Like, if I go somewhere, I'm rolling a personal blunt. I'm smoking that shit. Oh, you didn't have any weed? Oh, that sucks. And you know what I noticed? The first thing I noticed when I moved to the hood back in the day, and I don't know if it's true in your hoods or, or not, but in our hood, man, somebody hand you a joint, you sit there and hit it until you're done with it. You know what I mean? You can take your time, and then you hand it to the next one, they do this. That's the way it was in our hood. It wasn't like, hey, you're here from past that. Nobody, never say nothing. It's not a fucking microphone. Hit it and pass it, bitch. And if I'm sitting around with people that I'm gonna share a joint or whatever with, it's people that I trust and I'm okay with sharing a joint or a pipe with. It's not gonna be randoms. Yeah, I completely agree with that, Maggie. Like, if my brother was to come over and he wanted to chill and smoke, okay, cool, that's an exception. But, like, to go out somewhere, like, with other people and, like, be at a, like, you know, a party or whatever the fuck, nope, I'm not sharing with none of y'all. Yeah, I went to work one day, a girlfriend wore lip gloss, we were smoking a blunt. 
the security jobs out there. The guys just making fun of me, man. They're like, hey, what have you been doing, man? You got a sparkle one, too. It had sparkles in my mouth. Walk around with a fucking glitter lipstick on the lip. Didn't even know it. Everybody's looking at me funny, man. Them boss is like, Michael, come in here. You got lipstick on? Said, what the fuck? Oh, man, this bitch. Oh, son of a bitch. And you can't even tell him, oh, you know, she passed me the blood and I hit that shit. You gotta be like, oh, I gave her a kiss goodbye and, you know, it must have got on my lips. Yeah, I mean, it's easy enough to cover. You don't have to say, oh, we were sitting the blood. Oh, yeah, she kissed me before I left and I got lip gloss on me. They were more laughing at this huge guy with lipstick on, walk around thinking everything's fine. Telling people what to do with shit with lipstick on. How long did they wait to tell you? Like, I'm sure they were laughing at you for a good little minute. It was an hour, because there's a shift change, and it's like a two hour shift change. On one guy comes in, and the guy comes in after. That first guy came in, and then the next guy came in, and told me it was an hour. A bunch of people saw it. Well, at least it was just glittery lip gloss and not like bright red something. I mean, my hubby, I have girls and there's glitter in my house. I call it craft herpes. Because once you get glitter in your house, it's always there. No matter how much you clean up, it is there somewhere and it's going to show up at the worst possible time. So he goes to work and he'll have like a random glitter on his forehead or something like that. Yeah, I've started rolling two separate blunts after that. Two separate ones. You gotta love these robots to wash your floor for you. You know what I mean? Fucking on your hands and knees having your bitch get all dirty. My mom came home and she had found this ultra fine glitter. And I'm like, no, fuck that. It's going in the garbage before you even get it close to the house. Oh, I don't allow glitter in my house. I need to make that a rule because my six-year-old loves shiny, glittery everything. And I'm like, fuck, man. But it's like, you know what, enjoy it, I guess. But you know, we have to limit it, definitely. Ultra fine glitter is like glitter powder and you will find it everywhere. Yeah, like if when you get it in your lungs, it'll be in there forever causing cancerous aging from you. Yeah, we do arts and crafts a lot. So what I did was there's this big ass piece of cardboard like part of a box that I have and I'll lay it down and we'll sit on it and do, you know, arts and crafts on that because I don't want that shit in my carpet and everywhere else. Or you go to the dollar store and you buy one of those big rolls of plastic that they have. Like the big plastic tablecloth pieces and you cut one of those big enough to do your shit and then when you're done you just pick up all the edges. <laughs> That is a great idea. I think I'm going to the store tomorrow. You know, you gotta make me want to roll a block. <coughs> I can roll a fucking block, man. I can take a swisher out, fucking roll a block. But uh, it gags me. It gags me inhaling uh, swishers. You know, I hit it like a fucking door. Talking. One of the kids' clothing stores, JV, up here, had a sale. One day only. Buy one, get two free. But what a hope like for is that we can all sort of find similar bucks. sort of common ground. Like, I can listen to you, listen to me, or I can do this, so you can do that. I'm not going to say, oh, I can do that better than you. I probably can do it better than you, but I'm not gonna go, oh, well, I'll do this better than you, watch this. No, I'm not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brassy girls everywhere. Titty ass hands in the air, somebody over here. Shaking for the man of the year. Oh, man of the year, man, man of the year. Oh, man of the year, man, man the year. Oh, man of the year, man, man of the year. Oh, man of the year, man, man of the year. Oh, man of the year, man, man of the year. Oh, man of the year, man, man of the year. Oh, man of the year, man, man of the year. Oh, man of the year, man, man of the year. Oh, man of the year, man, man of the year. Oh, man of the year, man, man of the year. Oh, man of the year, man, man of the year. Oh, man of the year, man, man of the year.
that a bow. I'm with a party in the tree. Tiny little land of the G's. Please let a nigga breathe. Take top, top down for the breeze. Burn lips, got a blood full of weed. Peace, love in the me. Man of the year, man of the year, chit 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 bounce. Bounce. Here for the crown, bounce with the crown, bounce with the crown, bounce with the crown. Jess is around. Oh, yo, Joe. Let it flow. He's got the bars, big bars, mass bars, six bars. Beats in the vice and the vice in the place. Boom boom. Boom, 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 here we go, I can, you can, where's my beer can, I've lost my beer can, where's my beer can, I must have left it in the can, in the slam, yo, Jesse, yo, let it flow, yo, let go, let go, let go, let go, do your ba 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 Mat 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 man of the bounce. Mat 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 man of the bounce. Mat 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 man of the year, Jesse baby. Man of the year. You the man of the year, bro. Jesse man, you the man of the year, man. Listen, man, you're the man of the year, man. Take your reward, take your compliment. you the man of the year. Don't find it. Down from the floor. Bounce, bounce. Uh huh. Bounce. My daughters, both my nine-year-old and my ten-year-old, like might steal my hoodies or my take my shirts for school.
get to you in a, in a bit, bro. Yeah, pay them bills. All right, boy, just don't be talking no more shit. You, you know I was on defeat tonight. You didn't even beat me. You barely even got hit on me. How many perfects did I get on you? Zero. You suck. Yo, Jesse. Did you always look like a fucking fiend? Like, like, what the fuck did you do to yourself, dog? Is that like a, uh, is that gold chain like a dog collar? Cause we know that shit, like, what the fuck? Look at that growth, dude. Oh man. Yeah, did you say, did you say 1% milk is like, it's 1% milk and the other 99% is like water? <laughs> What lady did you get that gold chain off of, Jesse? That thing is so tiny, the choker for a woman. See, what's up with the lumps all over your face, dude? What the fuck is going on over there, dude? You are all jacked up. Look at that fucked up fucking beard. That big old ugly fucking chain, dude. And stand back up and let's see that fucking eyebrow on your fucking chest again. Stand up there, Jesse. Do you do heroin, dude? Holy fuck, man. I've never, made, I've never seen you this bad. Uh, uh, Jesse's having failing organs, man. He's taking too much of one uh, mineral, whatever the fuck that shit is, coral calcium. His body's failing him, dude. That's a calcium deposit on his face, I swear to God. Jesse, you need to go get help, bro. If you guys want to see the progression of, of Jesse, go on Google and type in McWallace 420. You can see pictures within two years of how he's degenerating. It's not good, man. <clears throat> okay, so the two percent refers to how much fat is in the milk. Two percent milk fat. You got a you got a uh, timeline of Jesse's evolution online there, Woody. <laughs> yeah. He's turning into a fucking a coral. He's turning into coral, man. It's going to be like fucking... Like when you fucking make the milk. Like skim milk is like no fat, no milk fat, right? Because they skim the fat off the top of the milk. Anyway. A story. Hey, did you try cutting your own hair? Is that what happened there? You guys are going to make me sick. How about some calmness? Thank you. Uh, ass guy. Um, I, I just stopped my hair last night. I was getting tired of all that frizz, you know. I felt like it's my animal with all that fur, but uh, yeah, I stopped my hair last night. I missed my uh, you know, nice, you know, closely trimmed beard. That bushy beard, bad for my skin, you know. I think I was getting some pits, but uh, what was I gonna say? I had something cool to say. I forgot. How's everybody doing now? Oh, a Angel's looking cute too, and I gotta open her cam. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, Hidden War, but are you just going to let that fucking cyst fester on the side of your face forever? Um, so, if it is a calcium buildup, I wonder if you, like, squeeze it as milk comes out. That's <laughs> fucking nasty. It's a fucking cyst, dude. That's a fucking cyst. I bet you if you took like a knife and cut into it, like it's hard as fuck, but it's full of fucking pus behind it, dude. It's fucking gross. That probably comes from an ingrown hair, man. That's gonna leave a big fucking hole in your face if you don't get rid of it. Um, it comes from a poor diet. Um, you need to go see a dermatologist, Jesse. You need to take care of yourself. What you think you're doing is destroying you, <laughs> and you are going to wither away. Jesse, how tall are you, and how much do you weigh? Huh? What is so funny? 
You look like a homeless crackhead. The first thing you need to do is get off the fucking drugs, Jesse. That's the first thing you need to fucking do. Then go hit yourself up in the clinic. See what the fuck's wrong with you, dude. You've got a couple things going on. I wouldn't fucking worry about all that shit, dude. I would just go get that fucking shit on your face removed. You do you. Whatever you want to do, drugs, fucking whatever, man. That shit on your face is nasty. Yo, he was bragging me how he's so skinny and fit. He's like, yeah, I'm six feet, 118 pounds. Like, dude, that's not, that's not skinny. That's under BMI. But, uh, Jesse, good luck to you, man. Um, so I, y'all know what I look like. I am 5'9", 134 pounds, I believe. Between 130 and 140. Imagine being six foot and weighing 118 pounds. <laughs> yeah, fucking right. Yeah, he's not though. He's not. He's not six foot, 118 pounds, man. You can tell just by looking at him. He might have said that, but he's not. Yo, I'm like five. I'm like 5'11", something like that. And I'm like, on a good day, like I eat like a motherfucker and I drink and whatnot. On a good day, I'm like 150 pounds. He's not fucking. He's all height. All his weight comes from his height. So that's... That's where the the hundred and sixteen pounds or whatever it is comes from. Darren, you're five eleven. Damn. Just on the camera, it, it you just kind of look short. But cameras are deceiving. Yeah, you got if like if that's correct that you're 200 pounds, you got like 50 pounds on me, man. And I mean, I don't consider myself fucking tiny. But I try to gain weight, man. I try to eat fucking gain weight. I eat all the time. I eat shit and fucking... Uh, I do manual labor. I don't go to the gym and work out or nothing. Because I do that fucking when I'm working eight hours a day. Holy fuck, another Canadian way to do it. You are tiny, man. I don't know where you live, but you are tiny. You're 100 pounds smaller than I am, and almost 7 inches smaller. You're a very small person, man. Canada's known for that. Come to the United States, dude. We got some big-ass motherfuckers there. Go down to Texas, Alabama. Yeah, I don't know, man. The younger kids are getting fucking bigger in uh, Canada. Like, kids that are in their 20s and shit. I don't know if it's in the food or what. I don't think 20-year-olds are kids, bro. I'm just saying. Yo, Paja, you show your dick on camera again, bro. You're getting banned, bro. No, none of that weird shit. Yo, they're damn near like 15 years younger than me, Woody. I mean, I guess... Hidden War is pretty fucking skinny. Um, yeah. Um, my sister is 17. She just turned 17. Um, in July. And, like, all her friends are, like, 18, 19. She's got a late birthday. And let me tell you, these girls, like, like obviously, like, my genetics have a lot to do with my breast size. But these girls, like, some of these girls got, like, D cups. I'm like, what the fuck? Yo, hidden the war. Um... I don't think you need to see a dermatologist, dude, but a licensed addiction specialist. Like, look one up in your area. They'll probably do a free consult. Like, you don't even have to commit. Just get it. Just, like, plant the seed. So maybe later you'll know where to go. Like, you know where to stumble. I got these friends that uh, two of their parents are shorter shorter than I am. Like I said, I'm 5'11". I'm two of their parents are shorter than I am. And uh, the one of them is I think he's like 30 31 years old and he's six foot five 
And then the other one is fucking 18 years old, and he's six foot two. That's how it is. And I got cousins that are six foot three, and their mom, his mom and dad are shorter, like five, six, five, five. And other brothers, like six foot one. That's not common, but it happens. Yeah, the, the fucking ongoing joke is their dad told me, he was like, yeah, you know why they're so big? It's because I gave their mom a double load. <laughs> Yo, Mayhem's a uh, a biker gangster that's a pedophile, man. That's just weird. That's how they do it in Canada. You serious? Yeah, dude. He's a one percenter talking about how he likes kids and shit. Like, he thinks it's funny. Like, that's not funny. Yeah, he's either lying about one thing, man. And if he was a one percenter, he wouldn't be lying about the other thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't think any of you know anything about anything. That's why you sit on here all the time trying to learn something. Shut the fuck up, you faggots. Herc, what's up with the fucking lights behind you, bud? Candle in the background? Is that your wank stage or what? What the fuck is that? You fucking poor ass son of a bitch. Damn, you got reclassified, man. Shouldn't be in general population, dude. Alright? Not with your history. Hitting on these old 16 year old girls on Camp Frog. It's fucking weird, dude. Just saying. Is that why this guy thinks he's tough? He got this fucking ride the fucking bicycle, hangs around with other guys that ride bicycle. Grown fucking men calling themselves a gang and shit, wearing the same jackets. Come on, man. You're gonna scare me with a fucking biker gang, dude? <laughs> I don't think so. Honestly, I don't. If, if the other thing you said is true, man, I don't believe that he's no fucking biker game. Yeah, what province are you in, Mayhem? Ontario, bitch boy. Wait, come on down, hang out. <laughs> you listen to everything these people tell you in here, you're going to be a lost soul, my man. <laughs> bro, I got recordings of you saying the weirdest shit, bro. Like, you don't think I recorded you saying these weird things? Should I play them in the room right now? And you admitted to doing it. Well, not to mention the victim is here. And Sarah, did fucking Mayhem hit you up when you were 16 years old? The answer is yes. All right, Mayhem? She was smart enough and didn't bite on your little fuck whatever you're trying to throw at her, dude, but that's bad, Ted. That's just bad. Mayhem, bad, 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 bad. I'm just going to stay out of this one, man, because I don't know, I don't know either side of the story, so. Way to be, bud. That's a solid move. That's the solidest move I've seen in here yet, to be honest. I noticed Sarah didn't back your place. She's probably sick of hearing the bullshit, Darren. Why don't you lay off for a while? Probably making her feel some kind of way. Now she's connected to the mayhem. Well, just to get you up to speed real quick, Sarah Bang and Body came in the other day, <laughs> or Mayhem came in the room, and Sarah recognized him and said, hey, aren't you the guy who hit me up when I was 16 years old? <laughs> Mayhem said, oh, yeah, it's legal here. You know what I mean? It's legal where he's at, he said. So I guess he makes a habit of fucking hit up on 16-year-olds. Now he wants to deny it. He wants to say that never happened. I don't know. But I'm not buying this new story because I was there on the original story. But just to bring you up to speed, you know what I mean? That's your own judgment. I don't know, man. <clears throat> it's the first time I ever see this fucking man guy, so... Uh, I mean, what did you say? Okay, okay, can we stop? Like, I don't know uh, banging... I've known banging body on here for a long time, but I don't know her, like, well, you know what I mean? No matter. You guys don't have to prove nothing to me. I don't give a fuck. So wait a minute. We just want to put it on hold that he's a pedo? Is that what we want to do? We'll just stop? Because why? He's a fucking pedo. And I don't get it. Where I live, they got to register wherever they fucking live. They, everywhere they move, they've got to fucking register. You can pull them up on the internet and see exactly where the fuck they live. 
You should have like a little blue dot or something by your name, Mayhem. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. In Canada, I don't think it's like that. You get a register, you, you get put on a registry, but it's not public knowledge, which is really fucked up. I don't agree with that at all. I, th I think that should be fucking public knowledge. You should be able to just go on the internet and see it. But, uh, I didn't mean stop. You guys go ahead, man. This has nothing to do with me. Yeah, look who runs your country, though, man. Kevin Trudeau, bro, he's a socialist, man. That's what the socialist movement's all about. Weird shit. Yeah, I can go online and literally just, like, look up pedophiles near me. It will bring up a bunch of different websites. You can click on one, and it has little dots, and it shows you everyone that is registered. There's a, I mean, there's a lot. I don't know about around me. I haven't looked, but. I uh, just wanna say, I didn't vote for fucking Justin Trudeau the first time when he said he was gonna legalize, even though he said he was gonna legalize marijuana, I didn't vote for him and I didn't vote for him the, la the second time, so. Fuck that. Fuck that guy, man. Little fucking soy boy pissing. <laughs> Yo, they got the, like, Chomo directory here, too. Like, the sheriff's department has it. And it's fucking hilarious. Like, when you when you click on it to search, they make you click OK to a thing that's like, hey, I'm not doing this so I can stalk and murder these people. <laughs> like, they have a little pop-up that, like, makes you agree to not use it to locate and kill these people. I mean, because if you were going to do that, you would admit to it, right? On the fucking internet. Yeah, dude, I'm... People might not recognize, you know, but they'd be like, sure. Uh, you know, they'd even want to beat the shit out of me or whatever. I don't care. I'm always going to be whatever, you know. Um, and this is what I'm showing here, so let me... I've lost where it was anyway, but... You know, so... Right, so... So here... So we're gonna start here. And this is... Just... Just something that's nice. That's all it is. To me. That's, that's all it is. It's nothing more than just just something that's nice to me. To me, this is me. This is everyone has their own sort of whatever they like, you know. Well, that's it. I've bloody seen the movie, but you know, you know, it's, I'm not, you know, I like, I sort of do like my musicals, but I don't think Mamma Mia is going to be one for me, though, though, you know, that's the bloody thing, you know. Did you notice the no, 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 oh, the no, 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 you know, when you notice, when you see something twice, twice, gotta go and say to uh, Shorty Warner, what's that guy's name there with the face? The guy that gets the papers, the papers. Johnny, two times. Uh, two times, oh, two, two times, two times. Oh, uh, okay. Who wants a smack on the bum? I don't. Do you want one? No, you don't. And it, no one does, do they? Hey, listen to Amanda Seyfried. Plays a song on your guitar, though. That sounds nice. Oh god. Oh okay. What well, I will settle with for this one then, Amanda. This sounds nice straight away, you know. This place. You love this place. But it's haunted without you. Without me or well, okay. 